I've um, had like a full long day today. I um, got up around 10 p.m. which is awesome because if you see my previous video, I've been getting up at 6 a.m. I've been very tired, I haven't been sleeping well, so having a full night of sleep was awesome. So I do feel a lot more energized. After that, me and my husband went and he dropped me off to help my friend before her family comes to visit, did a few chores and helped her clean up. And then straight after my husband picked me up and we went um, straight to the Korean all-you-can-eat barbecue grill situation. It was awesome. I'm super full, uh, but I have let the food settle down a little bit and now I'm ready to get relaxed and just you know, ease my muscles. I've been working out all week. I, you know, I'm just really tired. So I think that having just a relaxing, chill night will help me. I'm going to go ahead and do my um, second review of the Lush One Piece um, bath bombs and bubble bars. This is the straw hat bubble bar, which I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, from what I read, and it does smell like that, it smells like you can see you get a citrusy scent. It's almost like lemongrass, but it's not. So from what I understand, there is cedar wood in here, um, some sort of citrus punch, and then we have mandarin. So it does smell amazing. Those are my favorite scents. It's just citrusy. I love lemongrass. I'm excited to use this. Um, but the way that you use the bubble bars is that you just let like run it under the faucet and that will do all the work for you. This is supposed to be like a luxury foaming bath and if you want more bubbles you can actually just swish this around in the water underneath and just create more bubbles. And it is reusable so you can let this um, dry back out and then use it again later on. Um, but we love One Piece and I'm just excited to try these. I loved um, the gum gum fruit. It just made the bath so beautiful. I just, I couldn't. It was just so sparkly and pretty. I'm excited to see how this works. So let's go ahead and take a bath. swimsuit by the way um and it's really comfortable like i said the scent is really nice and relaxing i am enjoying it but when i swish the bubbles around i can see that yellow bath water and that is not appealing i mean i know that you know the yellow straw hat is synonymous with luffy but that doesn't mean that the water needed to be yellow and maybe they should have just chosen something else i mean I know it's iconic, but once again, I don't know. I just, I cannot get past this yellow bath water. It's just giving pee. It's giving pee is what it's giving. So that's how I feel about it in the bath, but I'll give my um, full thoughts later on. And I'll just show you how big the bubbles are right now. So you can see they're just like really just big mounds of bubbles, which I really just love. And I can feel just how the bath water is making my skin feel hydrated and it's making it feel really soft. So that part's really nice. But once again, like look, straight up yellow. 
not very aesthetically pleasing so I mean I get they want the straw hat but you know what I'm saying <laughs> but yeah once again it's nice it's nice it's just not something I would buy again hey again guys I just got out of the bath and wanted to give my final impressions on the straw hat book bar um I will say it was very like luxurious. The bubbles were really like, they were going high, they were foaming up. So that was really nice. I love bubble baths. But something I don't really like is, I don't like it when bath water turns yellow, like any sort of bath bomb being yellow. I have a similar one that fizzes and it turns yellow. It just doesn't look good. It looks very like pee-ish, if I'm being honest. So I don't like it when they turn yellow. So that kind of was not my favorite thing, but the scent was really good and it did make my skin feel really soft and smooth. And I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought the yellow would definitely stain the bathtub. It just was looking very like turmeric -y. It was looking very like it would have stained something, but it didn't. Not that bad at least. Like it just, it looks pretty, you know, like clean, you know, it drained down and it doesn't look too yellowy. So I'm happy about that. It was a good experience. I just don't really like yellow bath water. And I do have some left over so I can take a couple more baths. It doesn't disappear after one bath, which is really nice um, considering, you know, the price tag and everything. So I think you get your money's worth for it. I just, once again, yellow water is not for me, but I mean, it was nice, you know, the smell. So I do like the little baths. I like that part. It was cozy. It did help my muscles, but mm, would I buy it again? Probably not. But yeah, it was a nice experience, a nice scent. I guess it's just to each their own. If you like, if you're fine with the yellow water, then go ahead, you know, buy it. But to me, I would spend my money on other things. So now that all of that's done and I've taken my bath, I'm probably gonna go relax and play my game or watch some TV, maybe walk the boys. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching my video. Comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye-bye.